So today I'm going to quickly try and wire up one of these. I don't know if it's going to work. I bought it off eBay. It's a car radio signal amplifier. I bought um, obviously here Android radio from I think it was AliExpress that year ago. Um, when you're driving along, signal does come and go. And some of the channels are all good. In Scotland and Northern Ireland. This is easy. So, when you go driving along, some of the channels do go. So, I'm sure this should be a channel. It's really bad. So, I was going to try and use that as an example and see if it does change when I wire this amplifier up. Obviously, it's quite straightforward. As far as I can understand, obviously you plug your, that into your normal aerial socket and then there's this end what you plug the aerial from your car into and then we need to find a switch live wire to either attach this to, it's got an attachment in there you can attach it to or do it yourself with uh, your own connectors. So I'm just going to take the radio out, have a little look see if we can improve it it might not do anything but i thought it's worth a go it cost about five pounds i think it was on ebay so and when i do drive along especially when i drove uh, the other week it was coming and going the signal depending where i was so i thought if anything i can do to help the signal a bit better be a bit stronger it'll be a bit better right so let me take this radio out so now i've got the radio or the harness out the packet so it's a car radio radio signal amplifier it's just got its own fuse this is the part you plug straight into the back of the stereo and then the existing aerial you plug into this part so obviously the wire is going through the amplifier some cars have amplifiers already in them and then people put upgrades into their car stereos and then obviously the new stereo doesn't have it so this is the back of the wiring of my stereo so I've had to adapt it because I didn't. It's such a big void. I've put some wood on the frame so the radio doesn't go too far back in. So it's just a matter of removing this cable here, plugging that into this end on the fixture, and then plugging this one back into here. Then I need to find a switched 12 volt. When I mean switched 12 volt, I mean a, a 12 volts that comes on when the ignition's on. I don't want a live 12 volts where it's on permanently. A bit like um, your radio has a live 12 volts because it saves all the memory memories of uh, all your pre-programmed channels. If you don't have a live 12 volt going to your radio, it will, uh, every time you turn the radio on, you have to retune it into all the channels. So that's one way of telling you where you've got a live 12 volts going to your radio or as well as a switch 12 volts. So obviously you have two 12 volts going to your radio usually. One's a switched, one's a live. So what I'm gonna do is obviously put this in and then I'm gonna try, I've got my voltmeter. So I'm gonna try and find the switch 12 volts where I can try and attach the um, live on the connect, on this wiring loom part. And I'll show you once I've done it and see so we can go back to, I think it was 10, 2.8 and see if that signal's changed. And I'll try and do it so we can take the wire off, put the wire on, take the wire off, put the wire on, see if the actual signal changes while we're playing the radio. Right, let me just put this wiring together. This uh, red cable here is a live 12 volts. Um, we're still on 102.8, which is the channel I showed at the beginning. So this is now the wire from the wire um, from the new and amplifier so i'm just going to play that so it's on this still got a bit a little bit of crackling in the back but if i take that wire off there's nothing put that wire on there these wax wraps that replace cling film ebay allows me to work from home and helps to spread my eco message far and wide with every sale the rain starting now. So that just shows 
does seem to work because that's the same channel. I haven't changed the channel on this. 102.8. Show you one more time. 102.8. Put that in there. Well, so I need to wire up properly, but. And relive the number one animated movie, Frozen 2. Take that out. Well, so you have got a clip. I think I'm sitting on it. Oh no, I don't know where I put it. I've got, you do get a clip that you can clip the wires together. Obviously, I just, you could snap, put that wire with it and this wire, and it just pinched it through the clip. Where did I put the clip? Anyway, I'll show you when I've done it. Back in a second. So, this is the clip they supplied. Obviously, one side, I'll show you here. Obviously, you can shove both wires in that side. But one side has got like a blank end, well, semi blank end. So, we do you shove the wire that obviously this wire into the one that's the blank end, end down, and the other wire you poke so it comes all the way out. So, if it, the wire that's on the radio at the moment with the 12 volts, you poke so it goes all the way through, and then what you do is you clamp that down, and that slides down, let's focus down the middle of the holes, and it clamps and breaks the plastic on the wires but doesn't snap the wires and obviously connects them two together by the metal connector so the 12 volts can transfer from this wire well from this wire to this wire across the bar and then um, obviously that gives you a uh, power supply um, obviously there's many are different ways of doing it this was just what's supplied with it obviously this clip goes over oh, it now. the clip goes over and clamps down on it, clamps onto this bit here. So that's the bits that will come with it. As you've seen, I'll, I will wire it up now and I'll put the radio back and you can see what it says for the same radio channel with that signal boost. I'm just gonna turn the power off because that radio is getting on my nerves, just that snowstorm. Right. Obviously, I've got my reverse cam wired up to this as well. That's why there's a lot of wires there. Obviously, this stereo as well, you can wire up a front reverse cam, reverse, uh, a front camera, reverse camera. Obviously, you've got your, uh, if you wanted to put a DVD player onto it, like for the head seats, you can wire that onto this as well. The trouble is, it's so thin, you've got these mounting brackets here, and obviously, um, either side, but my radio is such a void behind it, I've had to put some blocks of wood onto the back of the mounting frame just so the radio sat snug. It's probably not the right way of doing it, but it just works. My daughter says I'm good at bodging things and sort of like, not bodging, but working around things to make things work. So, it does look a bit of a mess there, doesn't it though? Anyway, right, let me show you once I put it all back together. Right, so I've attached, obviously this is the wire with the fuse that goes to the amplifier. So that was, and then you've got the red 12 volt switch live wire with it now. And I've just used the connector that came with it. This is just to show you that obviously everything you need is in the pack that I've bought. So now, when I put this radio back, I'm going to just show you that 108 point, no, 102.8, the signal's back as it should be. As you can see, I've got signal still. Obviously this is not the strongest radio channel, that's why I chose it. Um, just to use an example, as you saw in the video, without the amplifier unit, we had no signal, and then you put the amplifier and you got signal. There's lots of different, um, obviously radio one, This is the original channel, the local one, too, because obviously it depends where you are in our area, depending on what signal you get to the same channel because it's on different frequencies. So that's installed. Hope you enjoyed. I hope it's a quick, easy fix for some people out there to put an aftermarket uh, stereo in their car. Um, yeah, if you like it or have any questions, please subscribe. Obviously, I've got that on eBay, like I said. It's quite easy to install. Um, easiest way to tell if you've got a live 12 volts or a switch 12 volts is to obviously have the engine on 
well have it on the ignition switched on the first switch um, and what will happen is you'll get put this uh, we'll see the red cable in where you think the live red 12 volts is or the switch 12 volts and obviously the black one somewhere on the frame of the car or I just did it on the side of the unit of the stereo because obviously that is earthed and then obviously turn the ignition off for the same wire and if the 12 volts disappears then obviously it's a switch 12 volts if it's a live 12 volts when you turn the ignition off in the car or the van the 12 volts will stay if it's a live 12 volts it will still register 12 volts on here or 12 12 volts just around 12 volts if it minus 12.5 volts i think it was um so obviously that's one way of knowing whether you've got switched 12 volts or live i think i explained it earlier in the video anyway so thanks for watching i hope this is a little help to someone out there um obviously there wasn't many videos to show you how to do it so i thought i'd quickly do one as i was doing it and have a great Christmas if you're watching this before Christmas. If not, Happy New Year too, and I hope 2021's a better year than this one. So, thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button or the like and the like button, and on to the next video. See you soon.